Hi, I'm Laura. Today I'm going to show you how I'm making a rainbow rag rug. So this is a piece of rayon and a piece of sparkle share. I tear them into about one or one and a half inch wide strips. Depends on the thickness of the fabric. So you take the twists of fabric and twist them. One over, twist, one over, twist, one over, and continue. That sort of action of twisting and then stopping means that they kind of lock together so they won't completely fall apart when you're done. But I also use these little clippies to make sure they don't go anywhere. When I've run out of one of my pieces, I can just tie on another. There are a bunch of different ways to attaching them, including using sewing machine, but this is a pretty fast way. Especially when your rug gets big, it starts getting really hard to fit under the machine. So I poke a hole in one side, tear a little slit and another piece, poke the edge through, make a little knot, and splice in a new piece. Then I can actually sort of wrap those tail ends under and just incorporate them into the next twist and keep going and keep going until I've gone past the knot. Right when you get to the knot, it might get a little thick. Don't worry about it. There's no issue with it being a different width, but you can see that knot is almost completely hidden inside. As you get to another length of it, you can always pin them together so you keep forming more parts of the rug. I put in safety pins at different intervals all the way around just to hold it flat. I tried using straight pins, but I kept stabbing myself and that's no fun. To sew these together, I used this basic machine stitch and essentially made it into a huge zigzag. So straight stitch here to hold rows together, kept overlapping and changing colors of thread depending on what ring of the rainbow I was working on. You can do it by hand. It's just a lot slower. So give it a try. And you can make rugs for yourself. You can use any colors you like. I'm using kind of a rainbow one because a lot of the ones I see are kind of drab. You can use whatever color palette you have based on whatever scraps you have. Give it a whirl and hopefully you'll see you next time. Please like and subscribe below.